Now, an investigation seen exclusively by this programme has raised concern about care support for more than 21,000 children with complex special needs in England. Every child with a special need has to receive a fresh assessment for their care by March the 31st. It seems, though, that the majority of local authorities are going to miss the deadline. I know so many of you concerned mm. about this. Uh, Jane McCubbins has uh, been looking into it as part of our focus on the issue. Let's just talk about first, Jane, how is the system changing? Morning. Okay. Well, good morning. It's meant to be better. It's meant to be simpler. It's meant to be better for children and families. It was always going to be a huge job. Almost 240,000 children who were on this old system of statements, that legal document that tells you exactly what your child is entitled to in terms of support, had to be transferred over to this new system of education, health and care plans, EHCPs. A big job. Now, all children were meant to be transferred over. By 2014 but the parents forum special needs jungle has done an FOI which has found that the majority of councils are going to miss this deadline we are hearing that mistakes are being made as councils rush to try and hit it and when that happens it's children that are paying the price it is the biggest reform to special educational needs support in a generation and since 2014, the clock has been ticking. Councils were given 43 months to transfer all children off the old system of statements to receive new, improved education, health and care plans. So how is that shaping up? It is a mess, a complete mess. It's a complete and utter disaster. Rachel's youngest daughter has autism and has struggled out of school for three years. This was a draft plan. It was meant it was, to take yeah. 20 yeah. weeks to assess her for a new yeah. support plan. That's the one that's unlawful. The Today they are in the week age, 54 yeah. and still no plan or support in place. The medical assessment wasn't done and the social care assessment wasn't done. You had to crowdfund we to did. get the right assessment. We did have to crowdfund to get the right assessment. They have failed her on every level, at every, at every point they've failed her. Walsall Council say it's committed to working with families to meet individual needs and achieve the best outcomes for children. But Holly is one of an estimated 21,000 children in limbo who will still be waiting to receive a plan by deadline day. Therefore, it's not really worth the paper it's written on. No. Me Too & Co is a support group in Richmond, the area with the worst delays in England. Everyone here has faced delays, everyone's faced problems. The plan for Bill's son, Rudy, was missing one-to-one -one support and assessment said he needed. Ten days' time, we will be in, in another tribunal. Uh, the first tribunal was held in May last year. How much have you spent on this fight? Richmond are very aware of this. We've spent just under £50,000 so far. Sarah has also had to pay to fund assessments for four sons who are all autistic. They had five case officers from when we started in November to March. They changed case officers five times. So we never knew who our case officer was. Melanie says her daughter is broken by the delays. She meets with these professionals. She's actually refused now to fill those forms out anymore. She said, I am not filling them out because nobody reads them and nobody actually cares. Richmond Council tell us they've been working with families to ensure each transfer results in strong, informed, individually tailored plans. Even though it's taken them three and a half years to only do half the transfers, they reckon they can get the rest done in the next seven weeks. <laughs> yes, impossible. It's not doable. It won't be quality and it won't be considered. The quality of new plans is a real concern right across England. Do you want the government to scrap this deadline? It would be helpful if they would extend this deadline. Having such a ruthless deadline is putting at risk the quality of plans that are being delivered in order to meet that time scale. Not everyone would describe three and a half years as a ruthless deadline. This letter was sent to local authorities recently, reminding them of the need to hit it. The government say that with a starting point of a quarter of a million transfers, councils are making good progress. Not words these parents would choose to describe their own experience. It's a fascinating report. We did a week of looking at special education needs, didn't we, on breakfast just at the end of yeah. last year, and we got a huge response it to that. Was and it was monumental. It seems that you know, the problems that you're concentrating on there that they're widely known aren't they Jane? that's why that's why we, we chose to we're going to stick mm. across this all year you know back in early 2017 the government realized there were huge delays and problems here and they started asking local authorities to provide monthly updates to them which the government chose not to publish so this freedom of information act request from special needs jungle this parents forum really is the first 
proper picture we've got mm -hmm. of how it's going. And, it, and, it's, and it's not great. Based on the numbers of children still on statements last year, they were able to calculate how many are likely to be on a statement come deadline day. That 21,000 figure, if the pace of transfer stays the same as it did last year. The DfE say this still means that 9 out of 10 children will be transferred, uh, transferred over to the new system. But that FOI also shows that 60% of local authorities, if they continue at this same rate of change, will miss that deadline. And that 10% of those local authorities will miss that deadline by more than a year if they follow the same rate of change. Richmond say they're picking up the pace, the Department for Education say councils are picking up the pace, but let's remember, these are plans that are meant to be bespoke, personalised, top quality. If you pick up the pace, what happens to that quality? Mm. Ofsted, CQC, local government ombudsman, even councils themselves say that quality is suffering as they race to hit this target. And it's families who are left with the burden of trying to put it right, children that are left, left with paying the price. Hmm. Jane, thank you very much. Um, and we'd love to be able to get in touch as well if they'd like to. Oh, absolutely, always. Thank you.